Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel GoDynamic IT. In this video, we are going to install Windows Server 2022 on VMware Workstation 17. From downloading the ISO to the final inst installation steps, I will guide you through it all. Whether you are an IT profession or just curious about the server setup, this video will help you up and running quickly. So let's dive into the video. Okay, let me grab my browser here. You can see this is my browser. And first, we will go ahead and download the ISO from the Microsoft official website. For that, we have to go to the Google and type download Windows Server 2022 and you can see this is the first link it says that Microsoft Evaluation Center oh, that's okay right click and open the new tab it will redirect you to this home page of Windows Server 2022 and you can see this get started for free so you have a multiple options here you can try in the Microsoft Azure this is the cloud platform of Microsoft or you can create a virtual machine in Azure or you can download the ISO so let's download this ISO okay it says that fill the detail here no problem we'll fill the detail here okay so you can see here I have filled up all the detail and don't be afraid of filling this detail this is very simple you have to provide a very basic detail about yourself and once you fill the, all the detail just click on download now and this check checkbox where not necessary if you want to you select that box otherwise you can just move to the next one now it says that you want to download the english or the other version so if you have any other version you can go ahead and download it you can see chinese french german italian japanese russian spanish all are there so i would like to go with this 64-bit iso for united states english so just click on this 64-bit addition and now you can see this down downloading is started it's going to take some time but that's okay so let it be downloaded okay as you can see here iso file is downloaded and it's a 4.7 gb this is well and good now we have to go to our vmware workstation and then we have create a virtual machine for the server 2022 so i've already created a windows how to download this vmware workstation 17 for free from uh, vmware or we can say the broadcom website you can go ahead and watch that video on my channel so let's go ahead and create the virtual machine here so if you have to go to file and create a new virtual machine and you have to go with the typical installation and typical installation uh, it will ask for the option to select the installer disk but don't go with this it, otherwise it will throw an error when you go the halfway it not it will tell you that license key is not available or something some error will give so we have to go with the i will install the operating system later and click on the next and here in the microsoft windows you have to select the server 2022 so this is the server 2022 and now click on the next so when you click on the next it will ask you the where you want to save it so if you have a dedicated place you can save it or it will save it to your document virtual machine yeah and this will be the folder yeah in your document folder virtual machine and windows server 2022 it will install this to this location click on the next and here it's talking about the your hard drive space so you can see we have a two option here the store virtual disk as a single file or split virtual disk into multiple files but uh, you know i normally go with this this option because uh, if you want to move this machine from here and there or if you want to the backup or virtual machine click a snapshot this is for for me, it, it, it looks easy for me, right? So this is the 60 GB. You can go and 60 GB is a minimum requirement for creating the server 2022. But you can go and maximize the space of it. So you can keep the 120 also, right? So now click on the next. It depends. Like you can give the 500 GB also. That's not a problem, right? So and this is not going to occupy the 500 GB at a time. The hard drive space will gradually grow up to 500 GB, right? But initially it depends like minimum requirement of 60 GB to require only 50, 60 GB of the space. So now let's click on the next. And here it says that uh, you can see the summary of uh, this virtual machine. So it says that hard disk 120 GB, memory 2 GB and NAT, two CPUs. If you want to customize the hardware, you can go and click on the customize hardware here. And uh, the very first thing I would like to do is to maximize the RAM. So RAM should be 4 GB. Processor, if you want to increase, you can go ahead and increase the processor from here. You can select the four or you can keep it two only. These two options are very important, virtualization engine. So when you select this, uh, option you can see the significant improvement on your uh, virtual machine performance but if sometime this is not supported you have to go and enable this virtualizer in the bios then you come back and select this option when this is not enabled in the bios it will throw the error so that's what i said you have to go first to the bios and enable it come back here and then you select this options right and this is about the nat so in natting is it will translate the ip address of your actual ip which you come from the router so if you select the bridge mode 
So whatever the IP range you are getting on the other PC, you get on the this virtual machine also. But if you select the NAT, it will be translated. The IP address will be translated from your router to your uh, this virtual machine. Okay. Now don't have to change anything. Just click on the. Okay. So once you select that, you have to go to this uh, ISO image. You can see new CD DVD SATA. You have to select the use ISO image, and now you have here you have to point it. So click on the browse, and then you have to select this server. Eval 16. This is the one which you have downloaded for 2022 and click on the close and here you click on the finish. So now you can see this virtual machine is created and you have to power it on. You can see this powering of this virtual machine and he says that press any key. Okay, I press the any key and now the installation is pretty simple and straightforward whether you are installing the server 2022 on any server or any laptop or desktop workstation anywhere you install the process is exactly same in even, even though in the any other virtualization software apart from the VMware workstation. So now it says that language installed. So English, United States, it's good for me. And it says time and currency. So time and currency, I would select English India. That would be very convenient for me. So let me find this. Okay, here you can see this English India. Select that and keyboard layout. Keyboard layout is always a US for us. So just select this US keyboard layout and click on the next. And it says that install. Yes, I want to install it. So it says that setup is starting. Okay. I would wait for your further instruction. Okay, so here it says that uh, there are four options. So you have to understand that what are the four options. So it says that uh, Windows Server 2022 standard evaluation. The second one is Server 2022 evaluation desktop experience. The third one is data center evaluation. And the fourth one is data center evaluation and it says desktop experience. So if you want to go with the standard one, standard one means will uh, have the, the standard configuration. But when you go with the data center evaluation, you will have this data center specific related configuration configuration will be automatically installed on or available on this version. So my thing is to go with this uh, desktop experience. So this will be the minimal install and I'll get the desktop experience also, right? So for me, this is suitable if the, from this one, you get all this desktop experience. But when you go with this evaluation, either a standard or data, uh, data center evaluation, you get only this uh, command line kind of thing, right? So just click on next. You have to accept this and click on the next and it says that you want to custom installation or upgrade so i would go with the custom installation and it says that you have to select the partition okay no problem just click on the new and apply click on the okay and here you can see this is the partition and you have to click on the next and this is going to copy the file from your iso to the hard drive so you have to wait for some time until it's going to finish okay as you can see here uh, copying the file is completed installation installing features is also completed now it's installing the updates and after that it will go for the finishing up and it's um, okay so now say that we want to reboot yes let's restart it now so it's going to restart the operating system and uh, now it's coming back again after the restart okay it says that getting ready and other stuff okay you can see here this system is back after reboot and now it says that customize setting inside inside that you say that username as administrator and this ask him about the password so let's put the password here okay click on the finish and it says the final installation and the final after final installation it's giving you the alt control delete to, to unlock this so in the vmware you have to right click on the top of this window and send control alt delete just press that now it's asking about the password so give the same password here okay it says that you're building your profile, applying user setting, and finally you have a Windows screen here. Yes, wonderful. So we have successfully installed the server 2022 on our virtual machine as a virtual machine on VMware Workstation 17. So these are the few things it will ask, but don't, don't worry. This is the part of the installation. You can close it down. Let me show you what version it has installed. We have to go to this PC, right click, and go to properties. And it says that you can see um, server 2022 a standard edition this is a 21h2 okay perfect so uh, one thing before we uh, sign up you can see the screen is very small here right but this is not covering the, all the part right that means the vga driver is not installed so how do we install the vga driver on it so we have to and there is one more problem when you have this kind of a screen and uh, you cannot copy and paste back and forth like from this machine to your to your desktop from desktop to here host to host to virtual machine virtual machine to host you cannot copy the files for that you have to install the vmware tools so how do you do it right click on this virtual machine and install vmware tool so it will mount on iso you can see this is mounted on ISO here and you can go and just click on the Windows setup, sorry, setup 64 and this installation will start. And now you can see the difference. You can see 
and now it's a small screen and now let, let's install the typical install you should be the quick one this is very tiny is iso like 5060 mb not more than that and now you can see the difference the moment we install this application this tiny tool this see the screen is become full screen now click on the finish and he said you want to restart it i would like to restart later that's okay thank you very much just click on the no and now your server is ready so you can go ahead and change the name and other stuff that's all depends on you rename your pc and you can add it but this is how you install the windows server now you know how to install it you can go ahead and test your application on it so that's it for today's video if you like my video please subscribe and do let me know your feedback in the comment box right so thank you very much for watching my video see you in the next one